Hey there Tamers, Power World is an awesome game and for early access packed with so much depth. Seriously, there is like a million things to do from collecting to crafting. However, something that a lot of people are surprised to find out are the legendary weapons and armor. That's right, these are super high quality versions of your gear and they are ridiculously overpowered. Today we're talking about the 17 legendary schematics and Power Worlds and what they create once you craft them. Quick note before we dive in, crafting these is no joke, it takes a huge amount of resources and the crafting takes absolutely ages but they are way more powerful so it's definitely worth doing. Each of these legendary schematics is tied to one of the alpha world bosses, those mega strong pals roaming in the wild, defeat the right boss and there's a small chance that it will drop the schematic. The drop chance is the same whether you defeat or capture the boss so it's your call. So let's get started. First off let's make our legendary farming experience a bit easier. Before entering your world tweak the following settings. There's two game changers here here, night and day length. Bosses seem to respawn every 3 to 4 in game days, so shorter days mean quicker respawns. The second setting is PAL spawn rate. It triples every PAL in the game, and yes, that's including bosses. Fighting three bosses at once is definitely doable for the early ones on the list, but it does get much more difficult with the tougher PALs. Alright, so let's talk legendary weapons. First up is the old bow schematic. It drops from the level 23 King Packer boss, an easy fight near the starting island and there's no real trick to beating it. If you're lucky, you might be able to grab this early game and the crafting requirements aren't too bad either. This is also a huge upgrade from the base version, which has only 65 attack compared to this one, which has 247 attack and comes with a much better firing rate. Next, we have the legendary crossbow schematic from the level 23 bushy boss fight, which you can find south of the starting area. Craftable early on with serious damage boost, the base version only has 280 attack, whilst the legendary version comes with 490. This is arguably better than some of the guns you can craft, which makes it usable even later in the game. Moving on to guns, we've got the legendary handgun schematic and the drop chance from the level 29 beacon boss. It's a bit tougher, but it is definitely worth it. The regular handgun has 250 attack, but the legendary one has a whopping 625, which comes with double the damage and magazine size. Now one of the most powerful weapons in the game is the shotgun. The legendary pump action shotgun schematic drops from the level 45 Suzuku fight in the desert. A relatively tough fight and probably not doable with three at the same time, but if you can get it to drop, the reward is absolutely worth it. The legendary shotgun comes with 385 attack and 12 shots instead of 8 before reloading. Stepping up the gun game further, we've got the legendary assault rifle, one of my personal favorites, and the schematic drops from the level 49 Blasma fight in the volcano area. Now this is a seriously difficult fight and I definitely do not recommend fighting three at the same time. However, the payoff is huge. The assault rifle has a massive 560 attack and comes with a 30 round mag. And finally, for the big one, the legendary rocket launcher schematic, which drops from the legendary power jet dragon in the volcano. Now this is a super tough fight and definitely one to take on by itself, but the reward is equally satisfying. It has a monstrous 14,000 attack, making it a true weapon of mass destruction. Now let's move on to the armor. The legendary PAL metal helmet schematic drops from Frost Stallion in the icy northwest. It's a tough fight, but the legendary version does come with 240 defense and a 560 health boost. And lastly, we've got the heat and cold resistant armor sets, which drop from Palladius and Necromus, both in the northern desert. They are legendary pals, so it is the toughest fight currently in the game because you have to fight them both together. And the legendary versions they drop gives you 400 defense and a massive 1200 health boost. That is absolutely insane stats and I would 100% recommend. So pick what suits your playstyle and focus on those first. Legendary game is a game changer and the journey to get it is an adventure in itself. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite weapon is in the game and as always if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.